chorus, my love. No is a full sentence. No is a full sentence, especially in regards to you feeling overwhelmed, stressed, mental overload. Um, if you need solitude right now, or if you're in that energy of just feeling like you, you're, I don't know, I get this energy of being put down or set down. Um, for a period of time to reflect on something there is some type of memory okay there could be a lot of memories coming to the forefront right now um a lot of loss the overall energy is this scorpio energy um i believe there was a eclipse during this energy, I'm really picking up protective energy as well. Archangel Michael heavy in this reading. Um, so if any of this energy resonates with you, there may be a message in this reading for you. But before we jump into the reading, I am going to take my time. I felt guided to cleanse and cleanse your aura I felt guided to tell you that I felt guided to do that before this reading I felt guided to do a lot of use a lot of selenite to really balance and clear away any cords or connections but there's something that maybe temperature may be rising or things may be coming to the forefront right now and in order to re regroup it feels like you're going to have to go into some type of introspection mode um the rainy days could be significant right now where you just want to stay in bed. There's there's this energy as well. Some of you may be having like your, if you have children, you may be dealing with like viruses or them having temperature rising. I am picking up that energy as well of trying to help your children get over any type of viruses or cold seasons. The weather has been very ugly, so that could be true for some of you or you yourself could be trying to get over a cold as well but it feels like a lot of purging I'm belching a lot a lot of purging a lot of belching um source is definitely excuse me calling out to you Taurus and asking you to spend more time with your angels spend more time with source because I feel like <clears throat> There's an energy that's trying to pull on you and utilize your grief, your sorrow, and um, memories of the past that you don't really want to have to remember or deal with. This could be a particular person that's trying to utilize those memories to pull you back in. If you have children, your children could be sensitive and they could be feeling that as well. Um wanting to force a conversation or force a reconciliation or force some type of group effort but this feels like no is a full sentence and you don't owe anyone an explanation you don't owe anyone um validation or approval for this time that you need to yourself this is like you doing this for you so spirit is telling you to relieve yourself of that burden of feeling like you don't want to um, be alone or something like someone could be pulling on you like they don't your eyes are better that's my niece so she was getting my attention so you could be having that as well where a lot of children need your attention or a lot of people need your attention um, and they may be tapping on you or pulling on your energy and you may be feeling a little bit drained so if you are experiencing any of those memories that are coming up right now, Scorpio energy does that where it'll pull up repressed emotions, repressed thoughts, repressed memories. And this is a moment for you to finally purge it and be done with the person, place or thing so you can have your own breakthrough. It feels like a, a very difficult season nonetheless. Let's just put it that way. So if any of these messages resonate and you're new, welcome to our love nest over here on Talk Taurus Tarot. If you're returning, welcome back, you guys. Like I said, in this particular reading, Spirit is guiding me to take my time. So whatever cards Spirit calls on me to pull on, that's what I'm going to be using in this reading.
Which deck do you want to start with first, Spirit? <clears throat> Let's see. So we're going to pull on this oracle here. Pull from this oracle. You have an opportunity to really heal something during it with this energy once and for all, like be, to be finally done with some type of trauma. Call on Archangel Michael. And ask Archangel Michael to protect you, your home and your children while you go through this period. So that way other people's energy or anyone that's pulling on your energy that's trying to disconnect you or keep you too occupied where you you don't have time to really rest and spend time with spirit um that they're blocked from being able to psychically or empathetically pull on you because <clears throat> it feels like if you're unable to get to that space of solitude and really just um do this period of time it feels like it could potentially pull on you in a way where you're forced to sit down you're forced to have like you have absolutely no choice but to turn everything off and to really find peace so i feel like right now what you're seeking is confirmation um and this isn't about anyone else but you okay anyone else but you this isn't about anyone else but you taurus Let's see. Spirit, what's your channel message? What message do you have for Taurus in this reading? Wow. Perspective. Oh my God. None of this matters. Zone out common ground. Wow. So you're having a perspective change. You're going through a perspective shift. Some of you may have your third eye. Um, as well affected during this time you may be experiencing things like nausea ascension symptoms um, your ears may be heating up because I feel my ears heating up right now you may be going through things as well where there's some resistance around the perspectives of you know like your inner child right so when between the ages of like one to eight or from like newborn to eight, you're very impressionable. Things imprint on you. So you may be going through your subconscious is changing. Like your subconscious mind is being cleared out. The perspectives of old things. You're being resurrected, Taurus, during this period of time. Deep cellular healing to bring you back to source, bring you back to your true nature clearing out all negative perspectives that were a current previously existing within your subconscious mind this is reminding me of that subconscious mind where it's just black so lots of sleep a lot of water okay and a lot of time alone give yourself that time that quiet sanctuary that relaxation that peace so you can regroup I feel like you're going to also receive a lot of different visions as well from like your star seed collective your star seed um, downloads this is definitely giving me star seed downloads a lot of crying a lot of purging I'm also seeing a lot of congestion congestion it's like you're going outer space. Outer body experiences as well could be happening for someone. Bottom of the deck. In this card, she's laying on the earth. So that's a lot of grounding. Earth pulsing. Fire. Some of you are going through a kundalini. Um, a kundalini awakening your spine okay reconnecting you from your 
your head to your toe back to source energy back to the pulse of source so you have pulse of mother slow down time in nature a lot of this as well is making me think of the, like chosen energy you're chosen to do something and it's important that you're able to receive these downloads you're able to receive these light codes as well <clears throat> I'm here rain down on me let your love come shining down rain down on me da -na 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 -na. The golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Yeah, I'm telling y'all. So they're telling you try not to resist this too much, Taurus. Um, by um, try not to resist the addictions that are being cleared from your subconscious mind, the prior programmings and habits um, that are being eradicated from you. Some of your coping the uh, coping mechanisms can be anything that distracts you from being able to just be still. That could be television, social media, um, conversation, people talking, hearing a lot of noise. Let God in. Loosen your grip. All of these cards are fire elements. Some of you may be called to do like, um, you know that where you stare into a flame or you stare into a fire, you may feel guided to, like I said, you're heating up. I just kept hearing this energy of heating up and that God is like awakening inside of you, directly channeling these light codes into your subconscious mind all over the world all of your um like your galactic tribe or your galactic star seeds are all going through the same thing at the same time all over the world if you see in this card like so many different people are experiencing these these it, these um like there's like lights beaming on them and then there's a huge portal here and we have priestess how are you being called to step up and lead so getting definitely your gifts are being activated some of you your reiki hands are are really starting to heat up again you're going to feel called to be able to sense you may have like things like your hands itching your left hand is your receiving hand and your right hand is your giving hand i'm also hearing um like different codes as well are being uh downloaded into your physical palms it's like a tuning and you're going to be remembering a lot of different lost lands. Like you're going to be remembering where you came from, the star systems that you came from. You're going to be working way more heavily with your star systems. Okay. So you can do your light work. So all of my light workers as well. You're about to remember that you've done this before. It's going to be like riding a bike. It's going to come like naturally to you. Something is about to come extremely natural to you working with a particular energy this could be reiki energy light language you might start noticing that you're able to speak um in tongues you're able to speak in light languages and if you already are doing it it's almost like you're about to connect with it with um with the source in a different way it's enhancing that's for sure pyramids as well I heard pyramids of Giza
Pleiadians, Octorians. Hmm. Lemurian, I'm hearing. When you sleep, these codes get anchored in. The more you rest, these codes are getting anchored in and you're gonna feel ascension symptoms. You're gonna feel symptoms of ascension and descension. It's gonna feel like you're nausea. I'm feeling like nausea symptoms and it's all about a perspective shift. Persona, who are you? Yeah, a lot of emotional release, a lot of purging. But through this introspection, you're going to find inspiration. It's going to give you another level of confidence, reassurance, and a burst of energy. You're going to walk away from this with a burst of energy. Your inner child is integrating you, your inner child, your past, your inner child, your present self, and your future self are like aligning and this is going to take you on a trajectory over the next 10 20 years so you may go through periods of where you're feeling fear anxiety come up you're feeling these different emotions come up and out of you and you're going to realize that they never belong to you. Those were programs that were embedded deep into your subconscious. And you're going to, you're going to find that pearl, that source within you. And you're going to realize that you're enough. You can do something by yourself. This is a deep purging. What other card spirit do you want me to use? It has something to do with your life purpose. If you look at this card, there's like a face on it, right? And it's gonna, you're gonna, it's like these stars are in the middle of the face. And then you have like these, um, like your ego, you're you going through another ego death, you're shedding another layer of skin and it's gonna feel uncomfortable. Hmm. You're growing in a rapid rate right now. Through the darkness, you evolve and you see the light. This is your higher self. We have clearing debts. Yeah, clearing out karma. The, the bloodlines that you were born into your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life you already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well that's that burden I was talking about no is a full sentence is a complete sentence I no longer want to identify with this. I no longer want to have this agreement. I no longer want to be obligated to certain things. I no longer want to have the, the karmic ties of this trait. I, I, this is like you stepping into your destiny. And then we have exercise to increase your energy. Uh, many of you are going to go through a physical transformation as well. You're going to feel inspired to go to the gym. You're going to feel inspired to get more active and exercise in that spiritual muscle as well. Increase your energy and your manifestation abilities. Again, she's holding the world in her hand. And try not to focus too hard on the cards either. <clears throat> the key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising. 
and it becomes its own reward. I'm, I'm seeing like, I'm having visions of drawing, I'm having visions of painting, I'm having visions of like just playing with things in your hand and just connecting with things that way as well. Things that you no longer find fun as well are going to change. Bottom of the deck, we have conscious consumer. You're about to become so aware of what you're watching, listening to, who you're listening to, what they're communicating to you. Does it align with you? Is it giving you the perspective growth that you desire towards your highest and greatest good? You have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only that which you need. Yeah, your priorities are changing. I was having this question not too long ago where you know how some people like when you're in your your 20s and your 30s you have a certain way of thinking right certain habits you just you don't feel bothered by them and it's not that it's wrong it's not your time yet right and then you'll go through this shift where as you age up between the ages of like 40 and 50 you become way more aware of like the things that you once wanted to buy is not really a concern for you or maybe you wanted tattoos at one point in your life and you didn't want that anymore or maybe there were certain things like soda that you like to drink and now you're not even interested certain foods don't even taste right i feel like some of you are even going through that experience right now where fast food don't even taste the same anymore you know certain pleasures don't even hit the same way anymore it's like i'm not even crazy about sex anymore or I'm not even crazy about constantly pursuing certain activities that don't make me feel um feel good it's like your taste buds are changing your senses are changing you're way more sensitive certain foods make you feel sick after you eat it and it's not like some of you may be feeling like maybe there's something wrong with me or maybe there's something I'm deficient in and you're about to be so aware of like, oh my God, I need water. Or, oh my God, I need to eat this vegetable or this food. Like your connection with the earth is so enhanced. It's so intensified. When you go into the grocery store, you don't even want to buy certain things. When you see commercials on TV, you're not even like, oh my God, I want to get that. You know, it's like completely different than what you used to be and it's, it's part of it is mourning that version of yourself that once was attracted to that person mourning that part of yourself that once was desiring that hasty quick impulsive type of thing and now it's like you're more conscious you're more aware you're more intentional this entire energy is making you way more intentional with what it is that you do and don't want in your life. And your actions are now about to finally just naturally go with it. Like before you may have been doing it as like a punishment. Like, okay, I'm going to go on this fast. I'm going to go on this purge. I got to make myself do it. Now, at the end of this cycle, it's like your hands are just naturally picking up the right things and you don't even have an urge or a itch you know what i'm saying or a craving anymore for things that you once craved so now you're able to make these decisions from a place of love rather than a place of sacrifice and dep deprivation of what you once wanted it's no longer a punishment you just this is who i'm becoming this is who i am This feels right for me. So let's get some tarot. Yeah, the moon. What bartering systems have I, have I agreed to? What nonverbal agreements have I committed myself to? 
subconsciously unaware of your your moon energy Whew. your subconscious mind is like you're so aware of how you you learn a lesson the knight of wands is very impulsive okay you just do it and take a lot of risk and fall down but now you're so aware of how that behavior has led you into certain karmic experiences or lessons that never never brought forth the outcome you really genuinely wanted it just was impulsive it just was hasty and now you're putting two and two together and you're like if I say I want to do this, right? Let me give you an example. Um, I was talking to someone recently about decisions, right? And when you first go off to college, I'm going to use that as an example because that's the example we were talking about. When you first go out to college, you, like when you graduate high school, you're like, okay, before I have kids, I want to. I want to work on my career, work on my body. I want to do certain different things, right? And you start making plans, okay, of how you're going to make that happen, right? Your intentions are aligned. And somewhere along the line, um, let's say you meet someone and then you guys move in together and you're trying to still maintain that type of desire of intention of what you want for yourself but then that hasty decision to move in together or that hasty decision to join your lives together really takes you so far away from your original plan or your original path that somewhere in the middle you're realizing that you know I regret rushing into that relationship or I regret having to learn this the hard way that it was that lesson was that wasn't a smart decision because you know we weren't on the same page or we didn't have we weren't equally aligned that person may have had more than you and you had less than them or or vice versa and you start realizing that you had adopted some type of belief where that traditional bartering system was normal right your parents did it so you did it or you may have been trying to avoid those certain pitfalls and then come to realize you fall into the same pitfall that your parents fell into all of those lessons were to teach you that you know your how you integrated with society you adopted a lot of different traditional um, belief systems or values and things like that and then it placed you on a certain journey that didn't for didn't manifest right all the things that you once knew what you wanted for yourself before you got detoured on your path that's what that feels like and now you're at this moment in your life where you're reflecting back and you're like I know where this one decision wasn't aligned with my initial plan or this one relationship wasn't aligned with my initial plan and it may feel very gruesome to accept the reality that you have to let something go or let someone go um this could be a person place or thing so now you're having to stand up for yourself and defend your intentions and it could feel very painful like grieving a version of yourself that once felt like you know, when things get hard, you fight harder to keep it, you know, but then you're learning about letting go and letting go says that, you know, there's, you can't keep anything, not the clothes that you have, not the house that you have, not the resources that you have, the family that you have, you can't even keep your own kids. You come to a point in your journey where we realize that it's only you and the power and the, and the decision to make, to take that personal power um to grab it by the you know kahunas and say you know I'm going to stand alone even if that means that I have to lose people along the way because I believe in the power of what it is I'm choosing for myself and that's enough and with that decision you're auto automatically clearing out that debt that may have you know once been the trajectory 
So yeah, you have a lot of ancestral defense. Like your your ancestors are saying that you were the one that were chosen. Um, you were always that gifted child. You were always that chosen child that would put down their foot and say enough is enough. You were always that chosen descendant that would draw that thick as boundary in the sand and do the work that they didn't do on their journey and so they are invested in you you are clearing out karma because if you go back to doing things the way that you're accustomed to doing it then you're only repeating what they did so yes they are encouraging you to stand up for yourself and say no and to be assertive and know and believe that even if it meant that you had to cut your losses that you were going to be okay even if it meant that you would have to leave some friends relationships behind leave a good time behind so you can go and manifest something long term for yourself so every memory that's coming up it's like a smack in the face that's what it feels like it's like i can't even i can't even you know deny that this is something that i'm aware of now it's one thing to be asleep right <laughs> but then when you're being spiritually made aware and you're conscious of it, every choice you make after that feels so much harder to commit to, you know, because it's like denying your own soul, denying your own purpose just to keep a certain will spinning, just to see, keep a cur certain karmic cycle repeating itself. Look at that. The world card. Seriously. Tower. This is you saying, I regret, you know, I'm going to have to say no. I'm unavailable. It's not my responsibility. I have to put me first. This is like, I got to put me first, Lucius. And it does come with a lot of sadness, but you're going to be okay. And you may feel afraid to do it. To put yourself first, it may feel selfish, but you're being spiritually guided to to trust that whatever you're letting go of is going to be worthwhile long term. And whatever lack there is created, like let's say you're in a relationship, right? Or you're dealing with a person and you're on that break or you're taking a break from that relationship to focus on yourself, your dreams and your ambitions. Whatever those relationships or partnerships or business ships or whatever was once offering you, the three of cups that was once here, you got your big ass cup and then you have temperance. Those other two cups that those other two people provided or those other two sources you were consuming, it's like your spiritual team is saying, we got you on that part. We, we got the other two cups and we're going to pour into you. And there is a lot that you don't know. But they want you to focus on the most important part, which is being being in a position to receive your guidance, being in, in a position to receive your spiritual downloads, your light codes. Yeah. What's done is done. And there is no there is no repeat of betrayals like this is your opportunity to put a nail in the coffin to toxic toxic relationships struggle relationships toxic jobs struggle jobs um whatever this devil is whatever this vice is whatever this overindulgence is is a wrap you're not meant to have the same diseases that your ancestors had okay you're not meant to to be to be doomed to repeat that same health issue that your parents had okay some of you had a, a parent or an ancestor that struggled with certain health issues where they overworked themselves and they didn't have time to love on themselves so they really pushing for you to love on yourself they're really pushing on you to see the attachment to change your philosophy release the karma they're like, do better than what I did when I was alive. Do better than what we did ancestrally. And this is that, you know, when you go into the doctor's office and they make you fill out that paper that says, 
you know does this run in your family does all these different they have all these boxes for you to check off to determine if those health issues are present in your ancestry right those are karmic debts each disease each mental health each emotional health each physical health all those different things are are things that you are now being made aware of like if I don't get my health together if I don't get my physical health together I'm going to end up like my father or I'm going to end up like my mother if I don't put myself first then I'm going to be you know emotionally deprived and feel lost like my mother there's so much going on here that you are doing and, and spirit just wants me to pretty much remind you that they understand that it's not easy and it feels very difficult because you are going this route by yourself and many of you are going to be on this route by yourself but you will be happy and you will feel like you were set free from that debt you clearing you're clearing out this debt by you doing by you doing this yeah you're healing your entire bloodline you're going to be way more stable spiritually mentally physically financially you're going to receive confirmations that you have the power to do this when you feel like i don't know if i could do this i don't know if i could, if i got it in me there's going to come moments on this chosen path where you do feel defeated or you do feel on the verge of feeling defeated, but you're going to always land on your toes or you're going to always land on your feet. Something about you having nine lives. You're lucky. You're chosen for this. You're meant to be well, well known for something. You got the world and door to value. You're meant to be very stable. You're not meant to be stuck on this contract of heartbreak um fighting arguing bickering but you just got to remain optimistic that all that you're letting go of is so that you can open up the gates the floodgates of heaven and experience pure heaven pure joy look at that letting go having the energy to let go and remain optimistic my love you're going to find your kindred partnerships you're no longer going to feel stuck creatively. You're no longer going to feel stuck um, spiritually. You're no longer going to feel stuck to certain um, periods, like repeated cycles. It's like you're really, whew, this is your opportunity. That's what this entire like eclipse energy is about, this Scorpio energy. If you were experiencing a halt in your finances, that's about to change as well if your money was coming in slow or you were experiencing like it it's stopping it's because you had a certain energy cords that was pulling you back keeping you into a comfort zone that was no longer serving you Look at that stardom, achieving high social status, famous in entertainment, social media famous. You're going to have a lot of envy. A life, a life with not many friends, use discernment in friendships. This is also romantic relationships. This is also, if you think that your partner can't be envious of you, think again. If you think that someone, um, if they're not on your level, they are going to be envious of you because you're lucky. You're, you're a good luck charm, born with good luck. Things come naturally and effortlessly to you. More likely to get lucky in life. They feel like something's just easier for you to do. Teacher, teaching is your calling, a long journey of doing inner work. See, I'm telling you, it's if they were walking a mile in your shoes, their feet would hurt and they would have to take those shoes off. But you were born for this. You were born for it because you, you were willing to do what no one else was willing to do, which is go on that long journey of inner work. Teaching others helps you learn. So through you teaching others is helping you learn and helping you evolve. And you're very caring, loving, loyal. You have all these different great attributes about yourself. You may be very good at motivating others. You have this strong desire to love and be loved. And it's like, it's hurtful because you're, 
you would never do that to anyone. You don't, you're not jealous of anybody. You want everybody to win. You feel like there's more than enough for everybody. We have Life Path 1, Trailblazer, Leader, Pioneer, Risk Taker. You do better working on your own. A true romantic deep in your heart. So many of you are being called to work on your own. You're on a path to intimacy, true intimacy, and what that's supposed to look like for you. Learning about your sexual behaviors, right? Hasty energy can get you in certain type of relationships that are meant to be a short time and not a long time. And sometimes we try to make long-term connections out, out of temporary people. And we find ourselves in karmic experiences over and over and over again. Discovering your true sexual nature. Sexuality plays an important role. We have consciousness level six. Between two worlds spiritual realm master living between two worlds can resolve conflicts and offer guidance this is what you do life path six five adaptable spontaneous independent can handle various roles and duties you don't let love tie you down wow bernie karma burning off past bad karma steps towards soul freedom advancing towards your true potential so i feel like many of you had this ability to be able to see the potential in other people it's a gift okay which means that's why you're a trailblazer right because you can see the potential of humanity and every time you make a decision you break through certain limiting beliefs you break through certain um, dogmas, stigmas, um, status quos, and you you bring about trends, which is why you're always going to have those viral moments. You're always going to have those moments where things just pick up for you. They just happen. And it's because you're you're able to see every single path and choose the one of least resistance. It's only when you try to take people with you that you tend to take the harder paths and the harder journeys. And that's not meant to be your walk in life. You've had your season of going through those karmic experiences and you've evolved past it. And now it's time to break free and allow yourself to experience the other side of the reward for going through all those difficult lessons when you went through all those difficult lessons, when you went through all those karmic experiences, you have no idea how much you were you were going through tragedy and pain on behalf of your ancestry line, your bloodline, and you were breaking the chains that bind them through they were able to learn through you. So when they reincarnate, they're not going to incarnate with karma. In every timeline and every potential reality that are, are all currently simultaneously existing at this present moment, you have liberated versions of yourself in every timeline. It's like you and your other dimensions of you or other timelines of you are all simultaneously happening and you're, you're assisting one another by remembering who you are. That's deep. I feel like you're going to be guided right now to be more, have a more simplistic life. You don't want to be defined by your possessions or you don't want to be defined as property. You don't want to be defined as someone that is attached to the things and the people. And yeah, it's going to come with envy because you are being used as an example for humanity. And your story is going to break so many different chain wheels of karma. What? It's through your voice. Some of you guys are singers, speakers, writers. You write books. You write songs. You you rap. You do whatever it is you do. You dance. You How you express your voice is an artistic expression. You are here to be known. So speak and be seen. Wow. Stand out, be proud, individuality. Back to basics. Reduce reduce the clutter. Declutter so you can recenter. I'm going to read the speak out voice. And then we're going to close it because I feel guided to do so. So let me find the book for her. 30. Some of y'all could be 30. 
or you this is like a another dark dark night of the soul you may have had your first dark night of the soul at the age of 30 um this could be like your third one that you're about to have because you could be heading into that next 10 year side you know what i mean decade or something y'all i'm not that great on astrology but i know a little something it's a little something something all right so we have voice family culture and society can often demand silence and invisibility sometimes early in life silence and individuality are even the necessary means for survival however at some point in our lives we need to release our light from the shadows and shine our uniqueness into the world initially the very thought of expressing ourselves may stir up fears of being criticized rejected and abandoned nonetheless it is always up to us whether such fears stop us or we persist alongside them until they dissipate to withhold our unique gifts results in trapped energy that turns negative and is potentially toxic to our health and well-being allowing our spirit self to sing nourishes and expands us our wings mend by expressing our voice flight is possible when we express ourselves in ways that others can truly know and connect with us the guardian assures you that this living according to your spirit self's voice will not betray you it is you and has your back often in ways that are not immediately obvious nonetheless hindsight will always reveal that being true to yourself is the way of fulfilling the love security and completeness that we seek it is time it is a time of tuning in to your voice from your heart's century it may involve tuning out any unsupportive external forces much joy can be had in exploring every medium in form that inspires you allow your body thoughts and heart to breathe in tune with your spirit self beat and vitality so miracles and blessings can reach you you are the only person who can proceed to make you invisible or silent once you accept yourself no one and nothing can handle the limiting effects of judgment criticism and rejection it is always up to you to let no doubt or fear have the power to bury you in the muting shadows remember that every perceived rejection setback or failure is a lesson forming your pathway to the door that opens only you can stop you from walking through guardian's message your difference is your blessing and responsibility to share Taurus, I love you guys. I'm sending you lots of love, wisdom, and guidance on your journey. As always, I'll see you tomorrow. TT out, y'all.